On the Fort George IPA cans, they tell a bit of a story. Vortex is a West Coast IPA crafted in Astoria for the bold and the curious. In 2007, a tornado nearly scattered our brew house to the wind as we trucked it from Virginia to the rugged coast of Oregon, and there's still a little bit of nature's intensity in every pint. Let's see if we can taste the tornado. surprised it's taken me this long to actually get vortex ipa on video i've had there i've had it a few times but also when you look at or when i see a post regarding a fort george beer in any of the various uh beer groups i'm in there's a high likelihood that it's going to be about their Vortex IPA. It's not necessarily their their brand name beer, but it's definitely one of the more um, one of their headliners. It's a regular feature of their of their um, of their brewing, like they're they're always making it, and uh, it's apparently relatively easily found. Uh, this is a gift from I don't recall who, and I should uh, at my birthday party. Several friends brought beers. Yay! It's like they know me or something. Anyways, thanks to whomever it was. You know who you are. Feel my gratitude. Right? Sure. Cool. Awesome. So this being a West Coast IPA, I'm expecting a strong, strong hop character, but not in a tropical way. I'm expecting this to be uh, drier, piney, verdant, uh, more of the West Coast hop character. And... Uh, yeah, let's see how that is. To the nose. Yeah, so there is a, a woodiness to the nose. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, there's a woodiness. There's there's a hint of a citrus as well. It's a really nice balance. It's almost like a like a eating an orange in a pine forest, in a very nice pine forest. I'm really having a hard time figuring out what to do with this hand. Like, I feel it's gonna obstruct the microphone. And so I've been like sitting it on my lap, but then I look awkward and one-armed and things like that. So if it feels like I'm flapping it around, it's because I am flapping it around. I'm trying to figure out, it's, it's, it's vestigial at this point. Just, you know, stick it in my shirt. No, I won't do that. That would look too awkward. Anyways, so, so yes, definitely not the tropical. It's like a like I'm eating an orange in a pine forest kind of thing, but it's a real mild. It's not sweet. Um, it's like there's a hint of citrus and there's a hint of of the pine tree. I'm actually uh, surprised at how how little aroma there is here. Instead, there's this. I mean, it's not that there's no aroma. It's just compared with. Uh, some of the hazy IPAs I've had recently, they tend to have this real beautiful tropical bouquet that just blows out as soon as you open the cans. And even many West Coast IPAs have a lot more of this um, aromatic hop. Um, this was canned uh, in early June, so we're, um, we're coming on a month and a half. So it's about six weeks old, which is still within the sweet, happy spot for IPAs. It's plenty fresh. Uh, so I'm not gonna say that the age has anything to do with that. I'm just going to say that the aromas are a little lower lower on the prevalent. They're, they're not as strong, that word. Don't beat around the bush and use 16 words when 42 will do, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That, In fact, picking up that pine tree, uh, that's, that's kind of exciting to me for a... Uh, Reasons that some of y'all might have a connection regarding. Also connected to my birthday. Okay, well, let's dive in. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Good West Coast IPA. It's got a juiciness. It's got an earthiness. It's got a pininess. That is so nice. I love that. Um, it has, I'm gonna try not to compare it with with Lush, uh, the Fremont beer, 
because that is another exemplary West Coast. But I'm going to say, because because I would I would get too quickly into a poor memory of a beer I haven't had in a few days, um, and that would do neither of those beers service. I am going to say this has more of a resiny character to it. Uh, so if you like that that like pine sap kind of flavor this this might have a leg leg up for you over the more verdant lush just leave it at that and i shall try not to make further comparisons <laughs> but this is such a good beer so you have this kind of juicy opening that's uh it's not tropical at all it's 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 more like fruits we're used to here in the northwest maybe some apple uh maybe a little bit of of a, a nondescript berry could be some cherry in there almost which is kind of interesting i'm gonna go back for another sip yeah so there's there's some juiciness and then surprisingly the malt i think plays a character and it's providing a, a relatively firm, stable foundation that comes in pretty quickly and continues through until you've swallowed it and a little bit after. But then just as you're you're, you're starting to, to hope there's something more, something more comes. And there's this resin, there's this thick, syrupy bitterness that's just beautiful. Oh, and it's all down like the, the back of the 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 tongue down the throat oh yeah and i think that that malty character that's kind of the earthiness i'm picking up it's not a particularly sweet malt um it's an it's a nicely dry malt and i think it's just in comparison to the juiciness that came before it has this kind of foundational earthy quality to it um yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how else to describe the maltiness. Because of the strength of the hops, especially for subsequent swallows, the, the, um, the maltiness is, it doesn't stand up very, like it, it's not, the beer is not about the malt. The beer is about the hops. And, but the fact is, once you look for it, you will find there is this nice, nice foundational, um, it's almost, now that I'm thinking about it, there's almost, because mixed with the sweetness of the juiciness, it's almost a graham cracker, but but it's like slightly deeper. Um, and and yeah, it's, it's good. It's a really good beer. Oh, yeah. So Fort George is down in Astoria, Oregon. I have visited their tap room. Um, I had a really, really amazing burger there. Uh, 15, uh, 12... 13, 13 months ago, I think it was, uh, June in 2023, coming back from the Johnny and Friends camp there in in Twin Rocks, which was a couple hours south or an hour or so south of Astoria on the coast in Oregon. Um, beautiful little town, beautiful brewery. They do good beer and they do it really well. And uh, if you see a Fort George on the shelf, get it because they're good at what they do. They do a really good job. And I'm glad that the tornado didn't uh, blow all of their brew house away as they were trucking across the country. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and definitely enjoying Vortex IPA by Fort George Brewing. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.